Hello. We're coming to the end of the funding phase for the NNI project, but it does not mean that our work stops here, because we still would like lots of young people to learn languages and come and train with us for this challenging and exciting career. And today I have Matthew Perry, who is a, an international conference interpreter and who has been helping to train in the UK, uh, and whose face you also know from lots of resources on the NNI website, and I hope you'll go and look them up today. But he's going to talk to us today about the transition from training to the professional world. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Well, of course, it's different for every individual. Some people are more ready than others to take the plunge into the world of professional interpreting, and some people find themselves called upon to do high-profile, challenging work almost right away after their training, whereas others may find that they need to wait a bit longer, perhaps do something else indirectly, perhaps learn another language before they get their chance to shine. And there are also fluctuations over time. This is true of any private market, but also of freelance work for international organisations. There will be peaks and troughs in demand for interpreters and a need for interpreters with certain language combinations over time. If we think back a few decades, for instance, the world of conference interpreting was dominated by the continent of Europe, Europe was dominated by the Cold War, and in interpreting terms there was a lot going on with the intensification of political cooperation between Western European states. And I don't need to tell young people that the world is a slightly different place now, but interpreting goes on, the demand for interpreting goes on, it may just take a different form and perhaps be in a different place. Also bear in mind that if you've learned to really analyse speeches in different languages, and if you can stand up and speak convincingly in one or more languages, then there's a whole array of professional opportunities that you may have out there beyond the realm of what we traditionally think of as the language professions. So it's been a very exciting six years being involved in this network, but I think there are even more exciting times ahead, especially if we look around the whole planet, because wherever there are people who need to talk to each other, people who want to do business with each other, people who need to negotiate with each other. As long as such people exist, there will be a demand for talented linguists. So, stay with us.